and welcome to another edition of Fresh Finds by Fab Cat Thrift. And today I stumbled upon an estate sale, and this estate sale had so much vintage in it. I was extremely overwhelmed with how much vintage they had. In fact, I just started grabbing stuff, and unfortunately, I made the guy add it up twice because his original number was really high. And while the stuff was really good, there were some items that had stains on them, so I think he was asking a little bit too much. So anyways, I'm gonna get right into it because like I said, there was a lot. So not only did I find this estate sale, we ended up, we were on the way home, we had to take a different route home, and we found a church sale. The church sale I'm probably gonna go back to, but I will go over what I got today. So this is one of the first things that I found there, and I'm honestly really hoping that this dress fits me. It's extremely long and it's extremely beautiful, but I think it's a petite. There really isn't a size or a tag on it. It's just such 70s beautifulness. And I mean, in all honesty, it's in great condition. I feel like there was um, the stitching hem came undone at the end, but other than that, it's so pretty. Yeah, there's no size in here and it's 100% polyester, just like in the 70s, so. Like, no joke, the vintage stuff that was there was just insane. This, I thought, was beautiful. I found this... So not only was there, like, a whole room of clothes, I ended up finding, like, stuff and clothing in almost every attic. And this is just so pretty. Like, just look at the embroidery on this. Again, there isn't a tag. It says it's a medium. The inside's really beat up. There's this cool little... Oh, it's so dusty from sitting on a hanger, too. But there's these cool little tassels on either side this one kind of fits me and the pockets are pretty cool so this one I might actually keep we'll see I'm undecided this is just a really beautiful embroidered piece this one I ended up keeping in my pile because it's just it's super cute it's very granny chic all the buttons were there all the buttons are actually little flowers and this is actually teddy and I just recently sold a teddy windbreaker shirt for a pretty decent amount so I'm gonna hope that this one pans out and again it's in like really good condition and it's got like these super cute flowers embroidered on it so that was a good one these two i kind of took a gamble on i know that they're new or at least yeah they're new so this is it's quacker factory and i did look it up and it had decent comps and um this is obviously a christmas shirt and like i said it is new all the sequence is in place all the beading and gem work is in place so the comps were okay. I'll probably list some comps in the video over here. But yeah, I guess we'll see. This one I believe was Christmas too, so it's like a nice little reindeer. And again, both of them are new because all the beads and everything are still here. It just doesn't have the tags. So those were in really good condition, so we'll see. We'll see. I also picked this up because Christmas is coming. And again, this was just in like really, really good condition. And it's got like all the things on it that you'd want for an ugly Christmas sweater. And it's Again, in just impeccable condition. It's got a cool star on the back. Um, this is Serge Ho Ho Ho, and it's large. The sizes ranged there from petite all the way up to large, so I have to assume this person never got rid of anything ever, which is crazy. Crazy, crazy. This one, I don't know. This one I thought was absolutely gorgeous, um, but it might have been a gamble. I'm not seeing too much online about this specific brand on the Too Limited. Um, it's again just the working on it is beautiful this is almost like one of those iron-ons but it's so pretty and then all the stuff down here and this has got glitter around it it's a little egg on the back and I didn't notice this and this definitely worked out in my favor this I, had, I didn't even see this but this person paired a different shirt I thought it was a set but this person paired a different shirt with this actually Gosh, this is pretty. So pretty. I, I mean, it's in great condition, too. There were some items there that were stained, but that one was in really good condition. Okay, this one's not in such good condition, but she paired it with this, so she must have wanted to wear these cute little birdies, and or she made this, and this is an iron-on. Either way, it's super cute. Maybe I will end up selling it like a set, because now I'm kind of like... Did she iron these on and make a set herself because the birds match, but the shirts don't? Huh, well that's kind of cool. Anyways, this I thought was so pretty. Like look at all the sequins on this. This is such a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous cardigan. And the sides all have all these beautiful sequins too, both sleeves. It's really pretty. It's got shoulder pads in it. It's a really cool vintage piece. Beadwork is all impeccable. This one is in really good condition. 
I'm really happy with that one. This one, I uh, personally just really like this one. I'm gonna try it on because I'm pretty sure it's gonna fit me. It's a large, it's called Crossroads. I did run some comps on it and it wasn't anything too spectacular, but like it feels really high quality and I think like this is really cool. And it's a plaid, I unbuttoned it to try and get the hanger off. Um, but yeah, it's like really cool, it's got the pockets on it. Again, I don't think this was worn, like ever. This stuff seems all in really, really, really good condition. This one I'm a little disappointed on. This one I think has a stain on it. So I'm gonna try washing it and getting all the stain out. None of this stuff smells like a smoker, like it lived in a smoker's house at all. There are so many stains on these shirts. I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I was just noticing on this one that the color's got a little bit of yellowing on it. And I remember when I lived with a smoker that that was the case, but who knows? This one, oh my gosh, look at this beautiful vintage button down. It is so pretty and it's got these gorgeous ties that go in the front. This thing is just so pretty. And again, it feels, this literally feels brand new. It feels like it was never worn. And it's so, so, so pretty. I think this is Laura May. I can't read the size tag, so I can't really say, but I think the comps were okay on this. I don't think any of this stuff comped out as well as I had hoped it would, but we'll see. I think he charged me roughly $5 for everything, so I'm hoping to get that. This is literally new with Tay, and it has, I believe, a pants set underneath it, and it's just so Grandma Gotti. It's so ridiculous. Like, this is, like, straight from the 90s. This is, like, something that, like, was on our dresses in the 90s with these gaudy floral prints. So this is pretty cool, and it's uh, got the tag still. It's one size, and it's from Sears. So, sweet blonde. Made me USA. One size fits all. So yeah, this is this is just really fun. I don't know if that one's gonna come out that well, but again, okay, these I saw the second time I went upstairs and I just, I love these. I think they're pretty great. Um, they're definitely vintage, like everything at this thing. So these are Pro Mark. I looked them up. They sell, they're, they kind of run a gamut of things, but I really like them and they fit me. So the palm is used. They're leather. They're just really neat. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, now I'm noticing there's a divot on this one. I don't know. I'm probably going to keep these because I really like them personally. And I think they look really warm and they look like they were snowmobile and gloves. All right. Last but not least, I believe that's everything. <gasps> I forgot the best part. I'll have to go get that and show you the best thing from there that will help me. This, look at this. This is so... I got... I think two of two or three of the beaded sweaters that, that I found. I just this is so cool. I just love these ones. I didn't look this one up. This is exclusive imports, but again, it's vintage, so it's pretty cool. I dig it. Okay, let me go get the other thing. This was probably one of the best finds at that vintage estate sale. This is a Joseph original. And I don't know if you guys know anything about these. I will put some comps over here, but they come out really well. So this is Miss July and she's one of the smaller ones. They have big ones. The big ones sell for $100 to $200, depending on what you have and how good a condition they're in. This one's in wonderful condition. And unfortunately her tag fell off on the way home, but the original tag was attached. So I do have it. And she has her original stickers, markings on the bottom. And as you can see, all of her erased flowers and her bow and her hair, I think she had just a couple little chips up here in her hair, but nothing crazy. And she's holding this cat. So as it turns out, Miss July who's holding flowers is not worth as much as Miss July who is holding a cat. So, Snag this up for 50 bucks, or not 50 bucks, five dollars. And I'm really hoping that this one is what makes me back all my money on the clothes because some of the clothes I think I was really excited about, but I don't think they're gonna sell as good as I had hoped. But we'll see, we'll see. Oh, anyway, I also picked up this cool Elvis CD because I like Elvis and it's all his Christmas songs, like literally all of them. There are 24 songs on here, so. This is pretty much all the Elvis you're ever gonna need for Christmas music. And we still have CD player because we're millennials. So that's us. All right, so for the church sale, I got this really cool knife block. I 
Can't find any comps for it. It is uh, Echo Forge, which I found a lot of those. This is made in the USA, and it's just like a really cool block, and it came with a sharpener. So, I don't know. I kind of got this because I was thinking it would make sense for us. It has all of the stuff on the bottom, too, so it like sticks through. But I was kind of thinking it might make sense for us to use, but then when I got it home, I realized that it doesn't, it's not going to fit in under any of our cabinets, even though I do prefer this to the slanty ones. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It was $2, so I guess we will see what I end up doing with that. So everything there was 50% off, so I ended up just grabbing a couple of, like, this Ralph Lauren dress. Like, it was 50 cents. I don't think it's anything spectacular. It's just Lauren by Ralph Lauren, but I pretty much, I have a ton of Ralph Lauren, so I pretty much always grab Ralph Lauren if I can find it for like a really decent price because it does always sell. Sometimes it takes longer to sell than other times, but for the most part, it pretty much always sells. This shirt just felt like it was really high quality. Like it was just like a nice quality shirt. So I looked it up and it's called Orsay. I had never heard of that brand before. And I mean, the comp comps were okay. Was it anything too like nutty, size medium, made in China. So yeah, nothing too special. I don't think it's made out of anything too crazy either, but it felt thick and nice quality. So we'll see. Again, for 50 cents, I have a little bit more wiggle room. This shirt, this sweater kind of has me wondering like what, what happened here? What happened here? Like, is this a kid's sweater? Or did somebody actually put an Angora sweater in the dryer? That's my big concern with this. So this is Bobby Brooks and Bobby Brooks, I feel like I have a Bobby Brooks embroidered denim shirt. I feel like that's what they're most known for, but this is 100% genuine Angora and it's vintage, definitely vintage on the tag. I mean, aside from possibly having been shrunken, it's in pretty good condition or it's a kid's sweater. I really, I don't know. I'm tempted to put on Cerise and see how this goes. But there, aren't, there isn't a size in it, and it doesn't really say anything about, like, what it is, because it's vintage. I mean, if that tag wasn't on it, I would have assumed that this was homemade. I don't know. I grabbed it. Again, it was 50 cents, so I was like, whatever, I'll figure it out. Um, I like cats. I think everybody who knows anything about me knows I like cats. So I grabbed this because it was a dollar, and I just, I like cats. I will sell this, probably, but... It's kind of one of those things where I'm hitting a point where I just pick up anything that's a cat related. Oh, this I actually got at the escape sale. This is one of those really cool, nice all leather, all season. I feel like this was like picked up at State Fair or something, but it smells like leather. And again, I don't think this was ever used. I was going to get a fossil purse there, but it still had all of her checkbooks in it. He didn't empty the cat who was running it didn't empty it yet. All right, and... Oh man, I got a horse pup too that I put away. I got this because I just feel like, oh, this is really in rickety condition. Wow. I don't know, it was only 50 cents, but I thought it was kind of cooler than a lot of the other ones I've seen because it had, I don't know, it's really like worn in. Clearly it's worn in more than I thought, but again, I think this was only 25 cents, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I can hang it either way. But I know that like people really like getting these, so I don't know. This one's a little rough. And it looks like that's it. I did get oh I've got one other thing. I should this is why I don't put stuff away. up and down today. I don't know if I'm going to edit that out or what I'm going to do, but I got this really cool horse cup. I broke a cup the other day and I like horses too quite a bit. So I got this and it's got like the cool little hat and the whip on the back. And so anyways, yeah, this is it. That's everything. So that is everything I got this weekend. I'm going to try really hard to get the vast majority of this listed. And I don't know, I might try some of it on because yeah, I just feel like I want to try some of this vintage stuff on before I actually let it go and then probably take pictures in it so then I actually have the comps for that. So that is everything. Um, like and subscribe. Say stuff in the comments and all the clothes. Do you like what I found? Do you think what I found is super ugly? Do you think it's super cool? Um, also, follow me on Instagram at 5 My eBay store is 5 and I actually